Hi everyone! Uh, in this video I will show you how I traveled to, to Crete and lived there for two months for free. If you want to learn how to do the same, stay with me next few moments. Where is Crete? Crete is an island, it belongs to Greece, it is the largest Greek island and it's located in the south part of the Asian Sea. Crete has many mountains, gorges, rivers and beautiful beaches. Why did I decide to travel to Crete? I was never there. I found a very good and cheap ticket Budapest to Crete, 35 euros with visa and I found a place to stay for free. The house where I stayed was in the village called Agipantes. It was also close to the center village and village was small but it had everything you needed. Church, restaurant, local bar, where in the middle? Local bar again. <laughs> Local bars are important. Smile. And a cute waiter. I lived in this house for two months, but I wasn't the only one who was living there. There were also other volunteers with me. There were two Swedish girls, Emilia and Rebecca. Whoa, they were really funny. Uh, laughing, dancing <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Then there was Stephanie, she was from Italy. She knew some good Italian cooking. Then there was Lucia from Slovakia. I did a lot of gardening with her. Then there was Yasemin from Egypt. She's an amazing chef, especially vegan vegetarian food. There was one guy, Adam. He's a magician on a guitar, plays very, very good. And of course, the owner of the house and our host, Mr. Paul. He's uh, kind of a stylish, as you can see. And of course, me, from Croatia. But we were not alone in the house. We also had a lot of animals. There was Daphne, this cute dog, but very protective also sometimes. There were two kittens, uh, funny names, Maruli and Donald, and also other crew. You're probably wondering, how did we all end up in this house? Well, the answer is Workaway. It's an international service that connects volunteers and hosts. If you are a traveler and you want to travel cheaper and in the meantime meet local community and help people to do something, you get free accommodation and free food in exchange for a four or five hours a day work. Work is different, depend on the Workaway project, it can be anything. And you also have three days to explore the rest of the country. And that is basically how I got to Crete and how I lived there and stayed there for two months and with very, very little money. On this Workaway project, we did many things. This wasn't only one. We were making foundations for the you fence. See that we are digging. Digging, 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 digging. We are doing real man job. <laughs> uh, here is our hammer boy. Wow. Very good with the hammer. Then we were trimming olive trees. Uh, when you do them, try to cut them at the root. <laughs> so, yes. Because otherwise, then the little bitches come out again. The bitches. No. Tree bitches. I get it. We were fixing a lot of stuff in the house. working in the garden. Get a bit more interactive. We were also sanding windows. But of course, we didn't work all day. We also had a lot of fun. Evenings were also fun. Have you ever seen the 
Cooking was really important. Some of the volunteers really cooked delicious food. We had so much fun cooking. Eating together, preparing food. One day we were invited to a Greek baptizing party. That was fun, that was fun. They gave us free drinks, um, free food, dancing. One afternoon, Rebecca had a, a small accident. Rebecca! Yeah. What happened to you? Fucking dog bite my fucking leg. Mm. Look at this. This is love. Fortunately, everything was fine. It was okay. What do I say? Hello. We're having a smoking video. <laughs> this is how we look when we smoke. Super high. Yeah. <laughs> of life, because this is only tobacco, actually. <laughs> we found in the garden. <laughs> we had one very important rule in the house, and this is sharing. He's caring. He's caring. When we had three days, we went to uh, explore other villages nearby. Christian villages are really magical. They all have a small square in the middle. They also have many uh, trees like cactus and other Mediterranean flowers. We also went to visit Elafonisi beach. It's a very nice sandy beach. It's special because it has this tiny pink sand that is very visible, uh, especially when it's sunset time. We went to uh, explore also other places. We were also hiking in the Dictamos Gorge. When you're on Crete, you have to get a proper sunbathe. So that's what we did. And occasionally we had a visitors, a very, very funny visitors. <laughs> Even though it's traveling and work away and working, we also wanted to stay beautiful. So sometimes we had a beauty day combined with the good music. Uh, during my stay on Crete, I met wonderful people. Um, I learned a lot from them. Hopefully they learned something from me. The hardest part is always to say goodbye. But, you know, we will stay in touch. Maybe even visit each other. So, that means that I now I have even more places to see. This was my uh, experience on island Crete and with the workaway. I really, really, really recommend everyone to come and visit Crete and also to try and be a part of a workaway community because it is one of the best ways to get involved with the local community, to travel cheap, to learn some new skills and to meet wonderful people. If you need any more information about workaway or about island Crete, feel free to ask me, write a comment or something. Take care and have a happy day. Sharing is caring!